Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. What you're looking at here is actually an overgrown sort of coral treehouse, if you will, okay? This thing is completely overgrown with this coral. I'm gonna show you guys how to build everything, including the coral. It's not exactly block by block, but by the end of the video, you'll be able to build your own unique coral overgrown house. I really love the way that this thing looks. It turned out really cool, right? So it's 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 it has a spacious interior, definitely a unique interior. And below you can sort of see it's supported by the coral, and then above it just looks, I don't know, I think it looks really cool. Let's get inside real quick and I'll show you that. Let's just crawl up this ladder here, and we're inside the build. So it's a pretty unique inside, right? It's not a very uniform shape, but it's got a lot of cool things, and I show you how to build like this brewing room, which is super sweet. And then I show you how to build all these rooms right here. This is the only part that I sort of explain. I do explain the outside of the build, but not block block by block because it, it's kind of impossible to do so. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I built this and maybe learn to build your own, stick around for the tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so for this build, you're going to need the coral type, some of my block bar below. Now, you're not going to need all these corals, and if it's hard to get them, you know, just get silk touch and get them. But if not, you can always switch out the materials, some bricks, glass, and then stone brick slabs, as well as some cobblestone walls, which for uh, the sake of organization, let me throw them near everything else. There we go. And uh, yeah, you're going to want to find is somewhat of a clearing. So we're, 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 in, we're in like a lukewarm ocean, I think. Uh, no, we're at a warm motion so that coral spawns. You want to find an area that's somewhat open, not super open, but somewhat open. And you want to start off by placing some supports. Now, they, they shouldn't really be even. They should honestly be a little bit messed up. But uh, this is this is something I just thought of here on the fly. It, it should be pretty cool, right? Some uh, some coral supports, and they're supporting like just, just a house. And I think that's pretty unique. It's like a underwater treehouse sort of thing, right? So it's like a... It's almost like a treehouse, but underwater, if that makes any amount of sense. I'm trying to trying to convert that into English for you guys, if I can. But uh, yeah, we so we have some supports here, just sort of sitting up. And uh, maybe one more, like, off to the side here. And basically, it's not really going to be a house that I can give you an exact tutorial on. I'm more just going to build it and kind of explain it, because it's, it's going to be different for everyone's build. But I'll try to make it as easy as possible to recreate if you wanted to. But you want to make sure all your coral is on this, the same sort of level. You can even level out some areas around it if you want to make the house big or small. Like, for instance, this purple one needs to be, like, one block higher, so you can just add that. And uh, the next step is going to be placing the brick, and this is going to be our floor material. And we're, all we're going to do is just sort of line up all the brick like this. So we see this purple could come up and support it. Now, when I finish this, I'll, I'll give you an above, like, above the shot uh, take of like how big it is and what it looks like. But I'm trying to just more on this video give you guys ideas. Because giving you guys exact dimensions on a house like this, well, it, it's just not really possible because all the coral is going to be different. But hopefully you can sort of follow this tutorial and uh, just build your own. And I think that's there's something special with that because you're going to have a house that no one else, even I, have never created. But you could just follow this exact stylization and uh, make a cool little house. So yeah, I'm just sort of covering all those uh, supported sort of... All, all the supported like areas with the uh, with the uh, what's it called coral sorry just woke up so my brain's still waking up a little bit but I'm good guys I'm good all right so right here this is where I think the house should sort of end because it's already pretty huge uh, maybe go off a little bit more in this direction and then maybe bring up another piece of coral to support and that should be good. So under it, it should look like it's supported. If there's areas that look like they're just a little uh, a little lax on the support, you can of course always sort of change them and make them out to be really whatever. And you have to kind of notice that coral doesn't really follow a set pattern. You see it's just kind of, I mean it does, but it, it's just, it's mainly kind of random. But uh, yeah, that looks pretty supported to me. Now the next step is going to be putting a layer of, where is it? Where are my blocks? We're gonna grab some stone brick here. Oh some stone bricks and we're actually going to place them a layer inside of what we built okay so it's not actually gonna be as big as we made it we may want to make some areas a little bit bigger just because of this so let's grab some brick instead of that and let's go ahead and just make this area a little bit wider and the reason we're gonna do that is because we're gonna have some grass that's uh, hanging off the side and it's going to I don't know it's just gonna look like a really cool underwater build I know this is gonna cut a ruin what we just did with that coral but trust me it'll, it'll be okay it'll be okay guys there we go something like that 
and now what I mean is there should be like a one block space between your wall and like the the base the uh, foundation we just built then you want to connect all the blocks okay but what you don't want to do is you, you, you don't want to have them diagonal like that you want to make sure they're all connected so I know it's a little tricky to see underwater with brick and this, these shaders because they kind of they kind of warp everything but at the same time we're ending up with something pretty cool here and every house is going to be unique so I want to make some areas like see I, I want to make some of them a little bit bigger just because I want the room to not be such like a small little shape so we can just sort of extend things here and everything will work out okay just like that and then maybe over here a little bit. I love how it sounds underwater now, because used to, I mean, there I don't think there was really any sound underwater. It was just kind of silent. And honestly, <clears throat> wasn't a huge fan, but they did this aquatic update a while ago, and oh man, I, it really made me happy that they finally gave some attention to the underwater areas. So yeah, we have the base of the house. It's kind of big, and it, th that's okay. It's supposed to be a little bit big, but as you can see, Everything looks like it's supported by coral. It, again, if there's an area on the build that you think maybe could benefit from a little bit more support, I encourage you to do that and add it. There's also a bunch of really like spooky noises under here. It's kind of, it's kind of like you hear those. What is that? What is that supposed to be aside from something that's just scaring you? I don't, I really don't know. But yeah, I'm just sort of adding some supports here where I think they'd, they'd, they'd be a good fit. Now, of course, if you don't have this much coral, I, I think you can get it with Silk Touch. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments, because if you can't get it, then that makes this build kind of hard. But at the same time, you know, it's it's underwater, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But you're going to have this really cool coral house at the end, or a coral like tree house sort of thing. So I'm just going to make all these stone brick just two blocks higher than they already were. Now, of course, we're going to add windows here in a second, but we just need to get the actual like uh, shape of the house done so that we can get inside and start adding some stuff but what I meant was uh, like the reason we have that little rim around the entire actual house is because we are going to add some dirt there and then or some sand I think well I'll have to check in a second here if I'm not mistaken sand will grow everything that grows underwater yeah so we'll just take some sand and we're just gonna line the entire build in sand okay we're gonna try to make it look as natural as possible you still want to make sure that people know that it's like man-made that's why we have the brick in there because you wouldn't think of brick being a material that you would use underwater but you wouldn't think of uh, the thing I'm about to do either I don't think I don't really know it's gonna look pretty cool. It'll it'll definitely be a unique house. That's a way to put it. It's it's not gonna be for everyone. I'm sure a lot of people will be like, I, I really didn't like that. But you can let me know in the comments if you liked it, and I'd really like to hear you guys' feedback. I don't know if you guys like this style of tutorial or if you guys like my usual block by block. I try to stick to block by block, but sometimes guys, it's just a day where I just want to kind of build and sort of explain what I'm doing and hopefully give you guys some ideas to build your own underwater houses. But uh, yeah, so we just filled it in with some seagrass. Now we're gonna take some of uh, some kelp. Where's kelp? Oh, well, we'll swim over here for a moment. There we go. Okay, let's come back over here and let's just go ahead and fill in the blank spaces with this kelp. And it'll eventually, I think it'll grow on its own. I'm not really sure. You could definitely make it like a sum of them a little bit taller if you wanted to, like that. Just go back around and place it and the same goes for the seagrass but at the same time it really doesn't matter you're, you're not going to see it too much from the outside but you are going to be seeing it from the inside and it'll be kind of cool to look out your window and see that you're on you're definitely underwater because it's covered and well there's probably gonna be fish around it and stuff like that but yeah okay so what i'm thinking is if we already have a three high so let's go ahead and let, let, let's make a roof but a roof underwater is not as simple as you'd think okay because there's two ways we go about this. We could do a roof like this, okay, and it, it looks a little weird right now, I, I promise, it's just my shaders. Once you're actually inside and uh, the water isn't in here, it'll look a lot better. But you can connect them all diagonally like this, and you can make your roof actually pretty cool. And it, it's not a fancy roof, it's not gonna be like where you have a roof where you're above ground and you have like a attic space or something, because you're underwater and <laughs> you really don't need a roof because n nothing's going to be falling on you. So you, it, it can be a structure that's more flat, more rounded. It doesn't have to be so angular, you know, to let the rain run off the roof and not get puddled up because a roof like this in real life, well, you'd, you'd have a few issues with water, I think. 
just 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 a couple of issues and again guys it's not supposed to be the fanciest house in the world it's just supposed to be something fun you can build underwater that that's really the goal of my channel is just something you can build it's fun it's not supposed to be super fancy but uh, I'm gonna go around here and I'm not going to do every block but I'm going to try to make it almost every block that we have this little this little slab just make sure when you place them that they are next to the glass like this and I'm trying to do every other block but sometimes like right there it gets a little tricky so you can just place it right there and then maybe maybe one right here 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 and you can just sort of go around and place these and they should look pretty cool uh, the the idea with these is that they kind of support the roof a little bit and they make it look more uh, texturous see it already looks pretty cool and uh, yeah so you're probably wondering Neo how do we get in and out of this build? That's a good question. In the middle of the build, um, preferably somewhere near the edge, so like right here, what you want to do is take your ladder, or take your take your uh, foundation block, and you want to just build it all the way down like this. It's okay if you have a little bit of coral in it, it's really not going to matter. But you want to dig this all the way down to ground floor here, and we're just going to cover everything up. And now let me grab some sponges, and then some torches so that we can make this build livable for a second here. If you don't have sponges, you can fill the thing with sand. And yes, that will take an undisclosed long amount of time. I, I know it will. But it's honestly very satisfactory to get a house like underwater that you built. It, it's a great feeling, guys. And yes, this house looks a little crazy. It doesn't have a square shape to it. So that's that's kind of what makes it fun. It's, it's not really uniform whatsoever. It's just something you can make into your own. And I definitely think there's something special about houses like that, as opposed to your typical cookie cutter, build a box, put a roof, add a couple of rooms on the box so it's not a box. You know, houses like that. You know, I don't have anything against them. I make them all the time, but I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. Let's fill this up with a block like this. Now, my idea here is to go underground, okay? Now, this is going to be a long entrance. If, if you're building this, you're probably somewhat far in your survival world, right? So you want to build that down underground. Okay, and then all you want to do, and th this is this is gonna sound way more complicated than I'm gonna explain it. I think I'm gonna explain it wrong. I don't really know, but all I'm saying is go underground, put a minecart. Okay, go to where like there's land. So for instance, I don't know how far I'd have to dig over to get to land, but all I'm saying is that like if I dug over this way enough, if I dug over here, eventually I would reach where I'm under land. And then I could either do a ladder straight up. Let's just pretend this is where the land is. You could do a ladder straight up, or you could have a, a mine cart down here that transports you, because it's probably a far distance away. But that's really the best way to get in and out of this build. I know you guys always grill me for not having an entrance, and I really get that, because that's like a big part of a build is the entrance. And the fact that I don't have one sometimes, yeah, I, I get it. Let's, let's head to the outside here. Let's see what else we can do to make this look better. And yeah, see, it's, well, yeah, it is already growing, because that one's... One, two, yeah, that one's three high. Cool. Okay, let's see, let's see what else we can think of. I think before we do anything else, we need to situate where we're gonna have windows, okay? So an area like this, like where there's three blocks, definitely a window area. Something like that is perfect. And then this is definitely a window area, so that's cool. Um, where there's only blocks like this, you can still put a window and it's gonna look fine. So just you wanna do a singular window where there's not too much space. <laughs> let's see like right there. Not, not, not the best place for a window. Maybe right here. There we go. And then maybe right here. Cool. And then one right here. Yep. You don't want to have too many windows, but you do want to have enough to where they, they don't seem like they're sparse or anything. So can we put any windows along this? I really don't think we can. No, we can't. And, and that's fine. It really doesn't matter. We, we don't need windows on every single wall. But you want to have them where you can, just so you can know you're underwater, right? You, you, you want to know if you're underwater. And I think I've been recording a little less than a good FPS, but it's okay. You guys can see more of the ocean. Now you can't see too much, but I don't know why. Some people record their tutorials on like, oh, wow, that's a fast grower. Look at that RNG come to life. So the next step is going to be actually the covering of the coral. So the reason we have all this coral below is that so eventually, and let me hold this in my other hand and hopefully it'll sort of light things up as I go. I'll try to put my darkness corrector on this and everything so it'll look a little bit better. But you want to take these supports and you don't you don't want to like cover the house necessarily, but we're all we're we're, we're going to bring them up, okay? We're definitely going to bring them up like this. And then we're just going to sort of cover the build, okay? Nothing crazy, right? 
Just, we're gonna cover the build. And I know, you say nothing crazy. Well, you're covering the build and coral. Okay, it'll make, it'll, it'll look a lot better once we get a lot of them going. Cause it'll be like, whoa, like this, this build's kind of cool. Cause it, it looks like it's encased in coral. And there's, there's not many builds that can say they're encased in coral, right? At least, I, I, I don't think so. I've never seen a house like this. If you have, and you made a tutorial on it already, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I literally just thought of this as I was sitting here thinking of what to build for you guys. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and connect that and then break that. Cool. So there's another little red section here. So maybe we can intertwine them a little bit. Maybe do some diagonal action. Something like that. Maybe have a little diagonal block. And yes, I know we're coming up already. You don't want to build your coral on this block, obviously. You want to sort of keep it to uh, this area right here. But you can sort of see where we're going with this, right? It's gonna look really cool. It's just literally covered in coral. It looks like it's been grown over by the ocean. And I don't know, I, I just think it looks pretty nifty, personally. But, oh, of course, you don't have to build something like this. But you're probably watching this, and maybe you'll build it. Maybe you won't. Who knows? And that's okay. You don't have to know. You can just watch it and enjoy it. You can, you can watch it and show your friend. You can do whatever you want. As long as, uh... As long as you're enjoying yourself. Okay, so let's put... That's okay. I don't mind connecting there. Maybe it is kind of actually bothering me, so let's just bring it all the way up like that. Cool. Let's see, what other color? We haven't really done any blue, so let's go ahead and just bring up this blue. Let's pretend it's a support. And let's just bring it up. And let's go... Let's sort of go under these blocks a little bit. We don't want to block all the windows we have. I'm sorry I keep going above water. I know, I know it's kind of annoying. Not only because of the sound, but just because of how it uh, sort of looks. Because I have that brightness corrector on, so I'm sure it's not the prettiest sight in the world. But yeah, let's just break that all the way down. And then do the same respective thing on the coral. Now, this is definitely going to be the hardest and longest part of your build. You, you just you, you kind of want to mesh it with everything that's already in the ocean. And you're going to end up with something that looks really, really cool. You, it really is like I promise if we already look at the build from like this side over here It looks a little crazy, but at the same time it looks like it's overgrown It definitely looks like a structure and I don't know I mean it has kind of a cool natural feel to it and a lot of builds these days I feel like people make their they, they are cookie cutter Yeah, and th that is fine in most cases, but they don't they don't look natural. They don't have any they don't Mold into the landscape at all. They're just sort of there and that that's okay for most builds But I wanted to sort of go out of the box <laughs> Pun intended literally and do something a little bit different so we already have a lot of blue up here so we're just gonna connect this one and uh, what color don't we have over here we don't have really any yellow at all we have like none so let's go ahead and bring up this yellow block and then sort of mold it around the outside and then just bring it up and uh, add some of that yellow to our palette now I know coral I, I, I'm not I know you for a while you couldn't really get it but I don't know how I don't know how how hard it really is to get Maybe you have to uh, use Silk Touch or something. I'm not really sure. But w once you're actually up here, I think it'll, I think, it, or like at, at your build area, it'll be a lot easier because you'll be near some coral. But yeah, we have this thing pretty sufficiently covered. I think maybe we could do, hmm, let, me, let me just sort of look at it from far away and I, I'll be able to determine it. Yeah, I think that's somewhat covered. But again, guys, it's not the fanciest build in the world. It's just supposed to look like something natural. And again, I, I can't say that enough. I, th I think it's special to have a unique house that no one else has ever built before. There's there's definitely something true to that being special. But uh, yeah, okay, cool. Now there are these little things right here. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I, I know you can get sea pickles, but I don't know how hard it is to get these like yellow and red fans. I, I really don't know. Like, are they something you can get like, without like doing some crazy stuff? Like, can you can you silk touch these bad boys and grab them? Because if you can, that's cool because you can add these to your build. I'm in creative, so of course I can add them. But I just want to know if you guys can too, because if you can, that'd be really cool to add these, and it just it just help it look a little more, little bit more natural, a little bit more overgrown. Now, hopefully, eventually you'll get some fishies swimming around in here, but. I'll actually, I'll, I'll just spawn some fish at some point and put them in here. But I'm just placing these in every little area I can, just sort of making the build look good. You want to make sure you get them from all angles, not just the side that you're on at that moment. And uh, I guess the good thing about this build being so like close to the top is you can swim here, get some breath, and go down below, 
But another thing is, it, it's gonna kind of blend in. You, from far away, you're not really, I mean, you're gonna notice there's a large mass of coral, but you're gonna look at it for a second, and it's just gonna be like, what? Like, what? <laughs> what is that? Like, that, there's no way someone's living in that. That, that just looks like a mass of coral. But yes, you're living in this natural beauty of the world, beauty of the Minecraft world. So, yeah, we're just gonna add some more of these fins. Just gonna make it look as natural as possible. You guys told me you wanted to see me use new blocks. Here I am doing just that, so leave a like for that if that's something you wanted to see me do, because I know I, I do like to stick to my typical blocks, but sometimes it is fun to branch out. You guys are right. I, I should have done this a while ago with these underwater builds, but I don't know. I think I'm turning out with something pretty cool now. I actually really like how this is turning out, but yeah, let's just keep placing these and just no, no, no pattern, literally no pattern whatsoever. You just want to, I mean, you could have three in a row there. Eventually that would happen randomly, right? It'd be a little bit rare, but at the same time, can you place them upside down? No. Okay. So there we go. Maybe a little bit of red on that side, a little red, a little bit of yellow, yellow, and then maybe some yellow on the side here. And yeah. I think we're looking pretty good as far as that goes. Now, if you wanted to, you could definitely add some sea pickles because these things are kind of cool. And they definitely add a little bit to your build. You have to put them on the top here. So I'm just sort of putting them wherever. And there's not a whole lot of spots we can put them. But yeah, look at that. I promise, once I zoom out a little bit and we look at this house, you guys are going to be amazed. There's just so many crazy things you can do in Minecraft and like... And you guys think I'm really creative. I am not a, like a naturally creative person. I have literally just forced my brain to be creative with Minecraft. I mean, I've played nine years, but at the same time, even if you just played, it's like pushing yourself to build all these new things. I have like 375 videos or something, and not all of them are build tutorials, but a lot of them are. And gosh, it's, it's hard. It really is. It's not easy to think of all these things, and some things aren't as good as others. But yeah, look at that. We have this super, super overgrown, old, rustic, and definitely, definitely, definitely. Let's let's take this mossy stone brick, and I know that, you know, you're already done with your structure or whatever, but at the same time, guys, look. Oh, if we added, uh, if we added some of this mossy stuff, just look at that. I'm just going to go throughout the build, and I'm, I'm not going to show it on camera because it's going to take a while. I'm just going to put random blocks of mossy like this all over the build everywhere that I can find a place to put it Oop. everywhere I can find a place to put it I, I'm not gonna put it on every single block of course but I am gonna try to make maybe not not a, not a majority of them be this but if, if we wanted to truly look overgrown the actual structure of the house should look overgrown too otherwise it's gonna look a little weird that you know there's only like a select few things that are overgrown so here what is that noise you guys, is this supposed to be like a giant whale or something? Like a like a big orca screeching for screeching for life or something? I really don't know what that's supposed to be. But yeah, I'm not doing every block, but I am doing a majority of them into these blocks because honestly, it, it's gonna look really cool. I'm gonna do this off camera. Hold on. Okay, nice. So you can see, uh, I just sort of went around here and I just added this mossy stone brick, and that's just gonna make it look a little bit more textured and a little bit better. There are a few things you could do, for instance, now, see, look, all the fishies are enjoying the new the new reef to swim in. There are some things you could do, like like with these trapdoors. I'm not so sure how they look underwater. I, I like it, but at the same time, like over here, we, we can't line every block, so it, it, might, it might look a little weird, but I think that's actually something good. I think that's good that we can't line every block. It's gonna add to that natural feel. I, I actually I really like the way these trapdoors look. So we're gonna put these trapdoors on as many blocks as we can, and that's just gonna sort of try. It, it's gonna be. It's gonna look like you're trying to hold the sand in, but at the same time you, you couldn't. You couldn't hold the sand back because you can't hold Mother Nature back. Neo 2019. But uh, yeah, let's just sort of put all these blocks here. And then maybe even variate the trapdoors a little bit. I've never really seen that in a build that, that I've seen personally. I don't know what other trapdoors that sort of fit that palette. Maybe, well, not fit the, oh, not fit the palette exactly. I don't know what was there. I'm going to guess it was that. Uh, was it that? I don't know. You can let me know and go back, but I can't go back in time right now. That, that, that live record in life. But, yeah, something like that may look a little bit cooler than just having every block be the same like that. So maybe like where there's two, switch one of them, or like that. Maybe switch these last two. 
I don't know, something like that can just sort of make the outside of your, and again, you're not going to see the outside of this too much, but since I am doing a tutorial on it, I'm going to try to make it look as good as I can. Now, I know it's a little confusing, because you're probably saying, Neo, I, I, could, you, could you, how am I supposed to build this, and I agree, but you should use this as a guideline to build the same sort of thing. Will it turn out the exact same? No, but it'll be your own house, which is cool. I should stop explaining myself with that. I just want to make sure you guys understand that it's not, this is not one of those exact block by block tutorials. But uh, yeah, that outside looks incredible. I actually really, really like that. That's looking sweet. Let's get into the inside. All right, so we do have this entrance that we built near the beginning of the video, near the beginning. And you, you could definitely have an entrance like to the outside water area if you wanted to. You could put, for instance, a door here. Maybe that would work. I'm not really sure. Does that still make an air block? It does. Well, I think because there's... I don't know. Something like that. Well, it does still make an air block. I thought they fixed that. So you can still use... Or no, maybe you can't use it for air, but it still makes the block. But anyways, something like that. Let's get into the build. Let me grab some materials, and we'll get started. This is going to be really fun to design. All right, so I think the best opportunity to make this build look as good as we can, we're going to want to subdivide the uh, space we have in here, okay? So we're inside the build now, and it's looking good, but at the same time, I think somewhere in the builds we should, like in, in your build respectively and my build, we should divide the rooms a little bit. So I'm thinking, like right here, we have an area where there's no, there's no glass or anything, and we can just sort of divide the room, and right, so we have this this room now, and then we have this one in here. And now the ladder room, I think the same sort of thing should happen, so maybe maybe not there exactly. It is kind of tricky since everything's diagonal. But I promise you you guys will figure it out. You're smart people too. But uh yeah, something like that. And then now you have this room back in here, okay, which is nice. Also it gives you an opportunity to put some more torches in here, because it might be a little sparse on the lighting. And then over here, we have the same sort of thing, a little window, which is nice. And then we have a third room over here. So let's get off the build. Let's start off in that third room that we made. So not this one right here. Let's go over to this one. Okay, now, I'm thinking a lot of things with this because, right, we can put chests anywhere. There's a little area like that we can just fill with chests, which is nice. But we're going to want to have more storage than that. So maybe put some chests here. And yes, I know we're blocking the window. And I know it kind of sucks, but at the same time, you could just put the window right there. And uh, voila, problem solved. So there we go. Now you have a window and some chests. Um, I'm going to put next to them a crafting table. And then on top of that, we're just going to put a pot with some sort of flower. Okay, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Cool. And then maybe on top, we can grab... Oh, not even on the right tab, but I unpaused the recording. We can put a little painting, like right there. Oh, what? Why would you go behind there? Okay, let's just break that and then put it back. Maybe a little painting right there. And then we need an area for furnaces, and we might as well do it in this room. Or, let's see, is there any other better areas for furnaces? I think, like, right here is honestly going to be one of the best areas. And then you could put a torch right here. Break this one. You don't want to have a torch right there. And then right next to it, maybe put some chests, just because you're going to want to store some stuff that you're smelting. Something like that. And that could fill up a room quite nicely. Um, let's take some stairs made of spruce wood. And let's just do somewhat of a little table, like right here. And then we can just put really whatever you want to on it. I'm just going to do two pots. And maybe just some cacti look like they could be an underwater plant. So we'll do two cacti. Nice. And then... Well, I'm going to have to break that one for now. I want to do a little painting, but I don't want it to be on every other block. Let's grab that. Oh, that's not how you spell pot. Let's grab that pot back. And then we have the cactus here. And boom. Cool. Um, we do want a nether wart growery somewhere in here. I'm not really sure where. Uh, maybe you could just do a small one like right here, but at the same time, no. I want to find a better area. I want, I want an area that's decent. Okay, right here. Let's go back in here. Let's take some trapdoors made of the spruce. Let me grab the rest. Okay, so this is everything I normally use. Uh, we can't have any other thing. I was saying, why can't we have any windows right there? But we really can't. So let's just go ahead and line everything up like this. And then just place these blocks here. And boom. Now you've got yourself a nice little growery area. Uh, we can fill this with water. I love the color of water in this biome. It looks beautiful. And the little tripwire hook pretending it's getting the water from the outside. It's kind of ironic that we have to have a... Uh, like a like a bucket of water we're right next to the ocean but 
That's just how things, some things go, guys, in life. You just, sometimes you just need water. But, uh, yeah, we'll t put two burning stands there and uh, end up with something pretty cool. I mean, you could even do it something like this. I normally wouldn't do this in a build, but we have so much area in this build because it's so much bigger than the rest of mine that you could really do like a like a big brewing room. Um, could you fit like an enchantment table in here? I'm really, I'm, I'm, un, I'm unsure, okay? And I'm stuttering on that because I'm thinking like, like I'm sure you could, but do you really want to fit a brewing stand in this build? It would be a little cramped. But, you know, at the same time, maybe you, you could without problems, but I think a nice big enchanted enchantment room like that is cool. And then we'll put, we'll see if we can fit any of these other blocks in here. Because you're going to want to store some stuff when you're, like, crafting it and whatnot. Uh, we could definitely put a chest, like, right here, but then the issue becomes if we line it up like this, like I'd like to. Actually, you know what? That's perfect. Because now when we walk in here, we have a chest, which is cool. Um, as far as where to put an anvil, I, I really don't think you could fit much else in here. But you can put all your materials in there, your glass bottles and potions. But yeah, it's a pretty cool enchantment room. Let's grab a carpet. What happened to my player? Am I? What? Someone help. What happened? I was like, where's my hand? I'm so confused. Am I in spectator mode? No. What? Where's my guy? Okay. Well, this is interesting. I've, I've become invisible, it appears. So, I'm sorry about that. And I don't really think it'll affect you. Let's take some carpet. Um, I'm not really sure what color to do. I don't really know. Maybe a blue, since this is an underwater sort of build. We can just do something like this with some blue carpet. And you don't want to place it on every single block. Just something like that will be cool. And yeah, I think it looks like a pretty nifty enchantment room. Maybe take some light blue carpet and mix that in there as well. Just a couple blocks being like that. And yeah, cool. Okay, so we have a nice, not an enchantment room, a brewing room. But uh, let's go into here. I don't really think we need like a proper doorway, do we? I, I, something like that is fine. I want a proper doorway being like an actual door. I don't really think that's necessary whatsoever. But uh, we came in here, we kind of designed this room and then left. We are going to want a bed somewhere in the build, believe it or not. Ripley's believe it or not, guys. We're going to want to build. So let, let's put a bed right there. Let's take some of those trap doors. Let's use dark oak for this one. And let's put them above this block right here. So just right there. And then let's take some fence. Just uh, spruce should be fine. And then line it up. And now you got a nice little bed area. Um, you could put an ender chest next to your bed. Either like, I mean, like right next to it. Or you could, I'm going to put it in that little nook right there. And then let's put a, another one of those trap doors. And then we'll just put an anvil on top of that. We're not going to have room for an enchantment table in here. I'm just, more than anything, I'm trying to give you guys some ideas for what you could put in your build. Because... Well, there's there's not there's not a whole lot of room for like an enchantment table somewhere in here. Let's take another stair and let's put it like right next to the door like that. That looks good. Now let's just put a pot on it. And yes, I know those are completely useless, but aesthetically, I think they look very cool. And we gotta have a we gotta have a blue orchid, guys. I'm sorry. It's a Neo Cubist build. You guys know the tradition. Gotta have a blue orchid somewhere in the build. I'm trying to think where else we could fit some stuff. I do want to have some carpet in here. I want to sort of stick with the same pattern I did with the blue and the light blue. But yeah, the, the, the key with the carpet, in my opinion, is uh, you don't want to ever make it too uniform, okay? You just want to sort of place it randomly. That way it looks more... Oh, that's not the right block. It looks more... Uh, I don't know, natural, I guess. And, and that, that kind of fits the theme of this build because it is sort of a natural-esque build. Of course, it's built by us, the the big Minecraftian gods who can place blocks and stuff. But at the same time, it, it, it just sort of ties the whole build together when you have a uniform carpet. But I'm trying to think of other things to put in here. Like right here, it just looks too good of a spot to put some chests, so I can't not do that. Um, if I was going to not do that, I would not put these trap doors on the side because those would not look good. Same here. Yes, it'll block your doorway ever so slightly. Boo freaking who. Look at it. Oh yeah. Just like that. It'll actually be kind of cool to see it underwater. Oh yeah. See, it looks nice and lined out. Yes, it blocks a little bit of your doorway, but honestly, guys, I wouldn't be too picky under here. You're, you're in this, like, really unique underground house we don't have many crafting tables though that's another thing so let's put a crafting table there um could definitely put a crafting table here you're only gonna need really one but we'll put another one just for just for the sake of the build 
And then maybe a crafting table here under that brewing stand. You couldn't really fit any more. Oh, you could fit a crafting table right there if you wanted. Uh, no, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stray away from that. Now, now these inside blocks, some of them didn't get turned to mossy just because we built those walls and those were natural walls. So if you'd like, you can always add a little bit of this, the mossy inside the build. I don't know if you guys dig that, but I actually think that looks pretty cool. And what I meant was like some of these blocks we actually just now placed, so we didn't have time to like go and fix them. And these like inside blocks we could have never done just because, well, we could, oh, oh, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen and all this, oh, gosh. Okay, so we had six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, something like that, and then some blue mixed in. I'm not really sure the exact pattern we have, but you don't need to have anything exact in this build. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good stopping point. There's not a whole lot you could do. It's a very funky shape, but at the same time, I really wouldn't mind living in this. I don't know if you guys would. Let me know in the comments below. Would you mind living in this nice, coral, overgrown house? I think it's pretty cool. If you built this in survival and showed your friends on a server, they'd probably be amazed. I think it looks cool. But if you want to leave a like for this build because you thought it was cool, please do so. If we could get a thousand likes on this awesome overgrown build, that would be really appreciated. If you want to see more builds like this, usually I do a block by block sort of style, but if you want to see videos similar to this and uh, maybe some more specific videos in the future, click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're notified when I upload. But uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys a final time for watching. Also, if you're curious about the shader pack, texture pack, uh, music, any of that stuff, all going to be down in the description below. But I'd like to thank you guys a final time for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.